We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight to hold support and breaking through key resistance levels. And in today's volatility, our SPY bot at 1.35 p.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows cross the midpoint to the downside, pure weakness there on 42 vision, and put options went up 150% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys wanna receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots. We look forward to having you join us and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index continuing to fight to hold support here in the second half of the day and in today's video we're going to break down the key levels i would watch going into tomorrow and what's going on within the charts but before we do i want to share with you guys the home opportunity i was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run today was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home run today was from our tesla bot our tesla bot at 8 50 a.m sent out a bear indicator and from that moment forward outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside pure weakness there on 42 vision and put options went up 90 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump to these charts. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index doing a full transition from red bars to multiple bright green bars from yesterday to today and back down so far from bright green bars to red bars and the last piece missing to complete a transition would be why we're Fred Borders if this weakness continues. Now, if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our born bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index under a bull indicator here since Tuesday at the 511 level, canceling out that bear indicator from 513, passing over it and breaking out to new all-time highs here and new 52-week high in the last two days right yesterday past 522 and now today reaching the 524 area rejecting off of it pretty sharply but fighting to stay above yesterday's highs in the after hours right you could see it right there at those levels now strong bull indicator here on the spy it wasn't just the spy pushing up you also have the qqq and this is something i will not ignore Going into tomorrow and the rest of the after hours, that A bear indicator popped up at the 447 level. You have Tesla having a bear indicator all day. It was the home run of the day as we saw earlier in the video. Bear indicator on the 30 minute at 176. And Apple fell all day long, right? A sharp drop back to a critical support here. So lots of eyes on it again if it could go ahead and go for a triple bottom, right? It hit it two times last two weeks, and here it is again at that level. 
So that's something to not ignore. And then you have Netflix as well falling all day while the SPY and QQQ were pushing up higher. So huge divergence there on these stocks. Definitely something to not overlook and also not ignore going into tomorrow. So here we are with a bore indicator on the 30 minute on the SPY. And if we zoom out and look at this from the one hour, we could see here a bore indicator at 512 continuing that staircase effect and full strength here of bright green bars and it's going to be crucial for inflows to follow to further justify any move to the upside and so far no bear indicator just yet on this slight pullback and they're still bright green right even though they have red borders they're still bright green if the weakness continues we would see a transition like this one right from dark green to red and then eventually white with red borders to complete a transition to the downside but right now we're still up here strong strong bull indicator no bear indicator just yet in the bigger picture now when we zoom into the volatility of the 15 minute we could see here strong bull indicator since yesterday at 515 and this is the first bear indicator that pops up since yesterday at that level at the 523 area it got really close to it here at 523.17 trying to come back up and here it is fighting to stay above 522 and it's going to be crucial to not ignore if this bear indicator continues because here we see it live in the action in the after hours trying to pull back down and if that rolls over the weakness into the 30 minute chart now i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflows and break down the key levels i would watch going into tomorrow here we are with the spy the s p 500 index with inflows dominating in the first half of the day as it was trying to push up on the 15 minute you could see it there trying to push up kept on rejecting and that's why things weren't collapsing but as soon as things started to fall to the downside those outflows started to dominate right you could see it there crossed over and outflows are dominating right now in the volatility it's going to be crucial for these inflows to pick back up when you zoom out and look at it from the 30 minute outflows crossed over as well something to not overlook here how inflows were trying to hold up and then once it sharply dropped you could see things starting to reflect the weakness from 424 down towards 421 96 and the 90 areas right 421 90 and then how it is here now trying to hold up and not go any lower because if these outflows continue to the downside it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts. And same thing on the one hour, but the reason why the chart has not completely collapsed is because these outflows have not crossed over. This is what I'm going to be watching very carefully here going into tomorrow, because if it does cross and the 15 minute and 30 minute do as well, we could probably start to see bear indicators pop up within the volatility. Now, what are the key levels I would watch? Well, the first thing is support, guys. If these outflows continue to the downside and that weakness continues to reflect into these charts, the first support is 521. Then below that, I'll be watching 519 to 518. And if that weakness rolls over into the 30 minute and the one hour crosses the midpoint to the downside, the next support is the 515 area. Now to the upside, it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to pick up here. Stay green, cross the midpoint reflect that strength into these charts, retest that resistance level, bring the 30 minute up, stop the one hour from crossing the midpoint and switching from red to green like it did here yesterday as it was holding support and then it started to run as those inflows picked up. I'm going to be watching for that in the bigger picture and the first resistance is 524. Then above that in that tight range is 525 and if both of those get broken through then I'll be watching the 527 area so these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside the bone bear indicators are going to be crucial and the inflow versus outflows i will be watching them carefully here as the 15 minute and 30 minute are below the midpoint but fighting to stay back up and trying to hold up really close to it and the one hour has not crossed just yet even though it is sharply dropping towards it as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money